Well, hello everyone. It's your lovely host here, NFL Fanatics. Now, before I go any further, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, or just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions of my predictions, my picks for week five, and my recap for week four. And don't worry, I'll discuss my social media accounts after the video is over. So let's get this bad boy started. Alrighty then. Okay, first thing first, let me reverse this lovely device. Hopefully I don't mess it. Alrighty then, last week, 10 wins and 6 losses. I actually got double digit wins. Overall record, 49 wins and 30 losses. Not bad. Now these other games got wrong last week. Not too bad, but it's very difficult to get everyone right. Then I have a pretty good winning streak towards the end of, you know, week four. So hopefully I can improve on week five. Wish me luck. So let me get this ready. Okay. I'm sorry, scratch that. That's my recap for week five, and now is my picks for week six. It's week six already. Holy cow. This NFL season is flying by. You could agree with me or disagree with me. Now, let me switch it over again. Okay, for the Thursday night football, you had the Chicago Bears. At home versus the Washington Commanders. Football fans, what's your thoughts on the new name? I kind of like it way better than the Washington football team last year. So I'm going with the Bears. At home, they need this victory. Okay? It's still early in the season. I don't know how many times i got to say that. It might be the last time until like later in the year. So Washington is not very good, but there's always an upset in the making. Okay. Now, if you're wondering how can you access this game, this is only exclusive on Amazon Prime. Now, if you have another way to watch it, or you could maybe you could get updates on a radio or on the internet. So there you go. Niners versus Arizona. Scratch that Atlanta Falcons. Now, this is a huge rivalry from back in the day when Atlanta used to be very good. I'm going with the Niners. Niners are very on fire since um, Jimmy G took over the starting quarterback. Now, Cleveland at home versus the Patriots. I'm going with the Patriots for an upset pick. Green Bay at home versus um, the Jets. Now, Green Bay, they didn't look good against the Giants in London. Let's see if they can bounce back. I'm not a Packer game. Sorry, I'm not a Packer fan, but... Uh, Green Bay is way better than the, than the Jets. Colts at home versus Jacksonville. I'm going the Colts. Let's see if it could beat Jacksonville. Probably not. Okay, Minnesota versus Miami. I'm going Minnesota. Cincinnati versus um, the Saints. Saints are home. I'm going Cincinnati. I'm going the the Saints. Baltimore versus the Giants. I'm going Baltimore. Buccaneers versus the Steelers. Steelers are home. I'm going Buccaneers. You have... Um, the Rams versus the Carolina. I'm going with the Rams. Atlanta. I'm, I did again. Sorry. Arizona versus Seattle. I'm going with uh, Arizona. There's a divisional rival. Buffalo versus Kansas City. I'm going with Kansas City. Philly. That's for Sunday Night Football. You got Philly at home. Undefeated team. The only undefeated team left in the NFL. Dallas Cowboys, a division rival. They hate each other with a passion. And you have Monday Football. You have the Chargers at home versus Denver Broncos. I'm going with the Chargers. Okay, those are my picks and my recap. Okay, now here's are the numbers. Okay, can you imagine if Atlanta beat the Niners? Okay, they only got 7% chance beating the Niners. 
Green Bay, wow, see, everyone thinks Green Bay is going to demolish the Jets, but there's always an upset, look. If Carolina beat um, the Rams, I'd be very, very surprised. They're the Super Bowl champions, the Finnish Super Bowl champions, if I forgot to mention that. So that's it, you know. Hopefully the Bears win tomorrow night, or whenever you watch this video, you know. So that's it. If the Bears lose tomorrow, so those are my, um, let me say this. Those are my recap for week five, and those are my picks for week six. So, so far, I want to ask you, NFL fans, so what is the most surprising team this early in the season? And so far, what is the most disappointing team this season so far? Probably a lot of you are going to say the Bears. You know, a lot of you are going to say uh, the Buffalo Bills are the most the surprising team or the most disappointing team so far are the Rams. Because their defense is not that great. They can always fix it, you know. You know, so it's very early. Do you think it's still early in the season or not? Leave a comment down below, NFL Fanatics. Die harder, NFL Fanatics. That's what I'm trying to say. So that wraps it up. And... Um, Let's see what's going to happen. So my overall record so far, 49 wins and 30 losses. Not bad. Not bad. Hopefully, I get another double-digit win. I don't want to be like 8-8 eight eight or 9-6 or 9-7. I want to get maybe like 12 wins. Or I like to see an undefeated, perfect record for me of my NFL pick them. If it happens, it would be lovely. So wish me luck, good luck with your team, and of course, go betters whenever you watch this video, my viewers. Now, switch gears, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts will be down below. If you want to be part of the Rarai Show, the Rarai Show, my, my mistake, I messed up, the link will be down below, double click it, and that wraps up. Have a good one, and I'll be back next time when I give you my picks and my recap for the next week. Have a good one, and of course, always go bears. Good luck with your team also. Later.